Good morning and welcome to Winning a Wednesday. I'm Sarah Stupp, Account Executive here at Hennepin Marketing, and today I'd like to share three tips for managing your account in Bing. Um, I know most of us um, are using Bing as a supplement to our Google accounts, um, and as I'm sure you've already seen some posts here on PPC Hero about the benefits of using uh, Bing to, adver to also do some PPC advertising. And if you haven't already checked out Dave's series on Ad Center, um, definitely you should check that out. He offers some good basics. But I thought this morning I'd just offer you some quick tips as well. Um, Bing can be a great source of lower cost leads. Um, it can also yield a higher ROI than Google. Um, so having said that, here are my three tips for optimizing your account in Bing and getting the most out of your PPC. Um, my first tip is to organize your account by keyword match type. Um, in case you weren't already aware, Bing treats all your match types of the same keyword in an ad group um, as a group, which just means you can't pause different match types individually. So if you um, structure your account by keyword match type, you can manage those types differently, um, which of course, as I'm sure you already know, is important in Google. Um, you'll also want to make sure you're managing your keyword match type bids individually. Um, and I'll let Felicia uh, speak for that. She did a really good post about implicit and explicit bids in Google. Uh, my second tip is to test your account broadly. Um, I know, especially if you're moving an account over from Google, usually um, if you view your data, you're just bringing over your highest performing campaign. Um, but my advice would be to test broadly in Bing initially. Um, don't just bring over your highest converting campaigns from Google because I've found that performance in Bing is much different and usually different campaigns do better in Bing. Uh, so Bing can be a good place to get some good results for underperforming campaigns in Google. And my last tip, um, which I guess is more of just kind of a um, discovery, it was definitely a what do you know moment for me. Um, Bing does offer change history. I know I rely really heavily on my change history reports in Google for um, client reporting and just kind of a, a daily task management. Um, but Google, or I'm sorry, Bing does offer this. It's just a little bit hidden. If you go to the reports tab, click on create new report um, under the first drop down for a report type, scroll down and you'll see the option to run a change history report. Uh, and that's all I have for you on this What Do You Know Wednesday. I hope this has helped you optimize your account in being a little bit better. And uh, check back in next week.